Hey guys, go for the one here. Oh yeah, welcome back to another Wi-Fi battle on my channel. Today, people, today I will be versing my friend Joey. Now, as you can see by his team, very, very weird. He has a Leafeon, which isn't very viable, and also has a Claw Witzer and a Swallow. Now, Swallow is pretty good, but again, not very good compared to my team, which, oh, you all over the board, but let's see how this battle goes. Now at the beginning of the battle, I really did not predict anything, I really just brought out Sylveon because I thought it would be a good play. And he brought his Claw Witzer, I don't know if he really predicted anything, but this was pretty good for me right here. Sylveon would be able to tank up these water pulses that this Claw Witzer just threw out at me, as you can see right there. Barely any damage, but sadly this confusion does come out, and Sylveon was not able to hit through it. Which, hacks is a thing in Pokemon, you gotta watch out for that, but... You could always deal with it. Now I'm going to get some leftover health back right here onto my Sylveon, which does help me throughout the battle, and he brings out another Water Pulse. Now this Water Pulse gets a crit here, and no guys, you guys were thinking it, but my confusion does not hit me, which is very good. I do get a Wish Off, and I am able to heal next turn, and I also get that little bit health boost from that leftovers as well. Now, he withdraws his Claw Witzer right here, and Claw Witzer really can't do anything to the Sylveon at this point, unless he gets those hacks again with the Confusion, which is a very low chance, but he does get it. He probably should have taken the risk, because it would have killed my Sylveon, definitely. But I do get the Wish back here, making my Sylveon live even longer in this battle. And I also get that leftover health back to make me live even longer as well. Now, he gets burnt right here. This Swallow is Guts which is very scary. Gut Swallow, you should watch out because he can run a facade as well, which is also Stab, which he goes for right here doing half damage to a Mandibuzz, which is a very bulky defensive Mon. Very surprising. I was pretty much surprised about this. I thought maybe it would be able to tank it a little bit more, but he did not. And my friend Joey right here goes for a Protect, which is a very weird play. I know I did attack, but he does take damage from the burn, and I gain health. So it was kind of a good turn for me, because I got some health and he lost some. Now again, the Swallow does get burnt, and he withdraws, knowing he can't really do anything against the Mandibuzz. Doesn't want to take more damage on that Swallow right there. And he goes into his Sylveon once again. Or, first time in the battle, actually, and I go for a foul play. He did predict this, and Sylveon takes zero damage from that foul play, resisting it. And that damage does not really have an effect on Sylveon once again, because also he is able to heal with that leftover on him. Now, Mandibuzz does get withdrawn by me right here. I know I can't do anything that Sylveon. I do not want to lose Mandibuzz that much, or that far into the battle. Now, Sylveon does go for a Hyper Voice right here, hoping that Mandibuzz would stay in, but he did not, and it does a pretty decent chunk to my Sylveon. Now, my team right here doesn't really have a counter to Sylveon. The only thing that can is my Talonflame, but if I switch that thing in recklessly, I will lose it, and I won't have a counter to the Sylveon anymore. Now, he goes for another Hyper Voice right here. I go for a Calm Mind. Now, this Calm Mind actually is a very smart play on my part. I was, I am able to actually get some special attack boost and some special defense boost, which will help me live that Hyper Voice, and I'll also be dealing more damage than his Sylveon already. Now, our Sylveons both get leftover health back, which, very good set on a uh, so I recommend running it, and I go for a protect right here, just getting a little bit more leftover health back, which actually does help me in the future. I do not actually lose Sylveon on this next turn here, which is very, very surprising. He goes for the Hyper Voice, and yes, again, it does not kill. I live with 17 HP, probably because of that Calm Mind, and I actually thought I was going to die right there, so I just went for a Hyper Voice, hoping to get some more damage off, maybe outspeeding, but I did realize that this thing was Choice, or not Choice Scarf, sorry about that, guys. I thought it was in the battle, and it surprisingly wasn't. He was just speed timing me, or he had invested speed. Now, Leafeon does come out on Joey's side, and I go for Protect right here, and it does fail. I was hoping maybe he would stay in so I would get more leftover health back and then get a Wish, but it did not happen. Now, he goes for Sword Stance right here, and I predicted this easily. Usually when uh, or, uh, Leafeon gets switched in 
into battle, you usually will see a Swords Dance from it right away. It needs that attack boost to actually do something. But I went for a Hyper Voice right there, predicting that Swords Dance, and he was Focus Sash, which a very, very common set on Leafeon. I've seen it a lot. I probably should have predicted this, but I do lose my Sylveon here because I made that bad prediction. I personally think it was the best play, though that I could have done because if I sent out maybe a different Mon it would have taken more damage than it should have. Then again my Talonflame could have done something but again don't want to take that risk on that damage on that Talonflame we need it for Sylveon. Now Latios does come out right here and I go for his Psychic onto the Leafeon. A Leafeon does get taken out right here of course he only had 1 HP not really gonna live a Psychic from a Mega Latios. Now Joy right here sends out his Swallow once again uh, I'm pretty sure it was burnt before, which I don't understand why it's not burnt anymore. Oh yes, I am stupid. I forgot that this man right here actually brought out a Zoroark. I probably should have remembered that when I rewatched the battle before, but I did forget about that. This man did predict me go for another Psychic, but I did not. I just went for the Quick KO with the Draco Meteor. Now he switches back into Sylveon right here, and I switch out of my Latios. Now Latios couldn't really do anything against the Sylveon, if he stayed in he was definitely definitely going to die from the Hyper Voice which don't want to really risk that and a Hyper Voice does come out again from the Sylveon exactly what I predicted. I switched into Talonflame and right here this was the best play I've ever made. He stays in with Sylveon, gains some more health back and he probably thought at this point okay I got some leftover health back. He definitely thought he was going to let this Bray Bird, which does not happen. People usually don't see Life Orb Talonflame that much anymore, but I do still run it, and this Bray Bird takes out this Sylveon easily. Easily. Just a one-shot, obliterates it, which is very good for me because I am able to pretty much, at this point, not worry about anything taking out my full team. Because Sylveon, again, I didn't have a counter for it, Talonflame only thing, and he was able to take it out pretty easily. Now, right here, Swallow goes for a quick attack, and I did not predict this whatsoever. I thought my Brave Board would have came out, but it did not, surprisingly, and he takes out my Talonflame right here. And Swallow also takes that little chunk off of his health with Burn. Now, I bring in SSJ Coco again, countering his Swallow right here, and Quick Attack does come out, does not exactly take me out, takes me down to half health. I go for a Thunderbolt and take out that Swallow easily. Now, Swallow is not really going to be taking that much attacks, as you already know, only really a fast uh, physical sweeper, not good for tanking anything. Now, he switches into his Glade right here and goes Mega, and at this point, I'm like, I could definitely just sweep him with my Jolteon, but surprisingly, surprisingly, he lives the Shadow Ball, which I was like, okay, Glade's pretty bulky, I thought maybe, uh... Super effective Shadow Ball from a Jolteon, which is a very good special attack, would be able to take him out, but surprisingly it did not. And he goes for a Drain Punch, taking out my SSJ Coco, also known as a Jolteon right here, and also gains some health back that that Shadow Ball did. Now, Latios does come out right here, and I go for a Dragon Pulse. Now, right here, Dragon Pulse does kill, which is very good for me because it is a 4 2 one lead if I'm not mistaken it might be a three to one lead but he sends out his claw Witster now going for a dragon pulse dragon pulse doing a lot of damage to my Latios but I do live thanks to Latios is super good bulk because of his mega now Draco Mirror does come out right here and pretty much overkills his claw Witster and that's pretty much the end of the game now Joey there was one thing you made in this battle that was the worst mistake you could have ever made. Laying that Sylveon die, but GG well played, very good. I hope we've some more on my stream. If you guys want to go check out my stream, it's twitch.tv slash gokusumpwin. Uh, it's pretty much the same as my YouTube, but again, twitch.tv at the beginning, not youtube.com. So go ahead and check that out. If we could also reach 5 likes on this video, I'd really appreciate it. And also, if you guys want to battle me, uh, I might put it on my YouTube. It really depends on how good the battle is, though. Again, you can't just bring a bunch of Ubers and then expect it to come on. We have to have a very good battle. But anyways, if you guys like this video, shoot that like button with comment me out.